New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Now, last week I was walking through Harbor Freight and I found this guy and I said, well, I'm gonna try it. So I went ahead and bought it and I am absolutely amazed at how well this works. In the packaging, you will find four items and that is the charge cord, it is USB-C. It comes with a pretty hefty base that feels pretty good. It is a little bit weighted on the bottom so it's not gonna tip over. It comes with the iron itself and it comes with a manual. The package says it gets to 980 degrees Fahrenheit and that it is 14 watts. It also says that it has 45 minute run times and that seems to be very true. The iron itself fits comfortably in my hand and the on off switch is in an easy place to get to. It does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not incredibly heavy. It's not gonna make you tired, but you can tell there's probably a decently sized battery inside. The tip is removable and replaceable. That being said, I do not see replaceable tips being sold for this tool at this time, but keep in mind this tool is brand new for for Harbor Freight. Operating is extremely simple. There's a power switch on the top, you turn it on and you will see a flashing green light. When that green light turns solid, it means the iron is at operating temperatures and it is ready to use. One thing I really like about this design is the iron itself is designed to be held by the holder in the on position, but the holder is built well enough that it just doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out. It's very firmly in place. As far as tip size, I would say it's about medium. It's about the middle of the road. It's not too small to where you, you can't can't keep heat on the tip, you know, the more mass it's easier to keep heat on the tip, but it's also not too large to not be able to do some component work. Now it's not the smallest tip, so if you're doing really fine precision work, you're gonna need a different tip or a different iron, but for most quick fixes, it's gonna be fine, and the tip is large enough to have enough mass that you can solder wire with it without any issues. I have some 20 gauge wire here, and as you can see, it has got the wire hot enough to tint, and we have soldered those two wires together without any issues at all. So you can get very quick work done with this tool. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like this product. I love the fact that I don't have to fight a cord if I'm working in my car or doing some audio repair, or if I have a quick fix, I, I don't have to fight any of the power cords or anything. I can just grab this, turn it on, use it, and I'm good to go. I think the quality is there, and I expect this tool to last a very long time. As usual, if I find any problems with any of the tools that I review on this channel, I will put a pinned comment down below. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos, and at the very least, you might be entertained.